Thanks for dinner, Mum. Very tasty. May I have some more veggies? Sure, darling. Wait one moment. Doesn't food taste better when you're not distracted and focus on your meal? Yes, Grandpa. After your advice, I no longer watch TV, play video games, read books or talk on the phone whilst eating. I like veggies. Yummy, yummy. Veggies, veggies, yummy, yummy. Sam, won't you eat your veggies? Veggies, veggies, yummy, yummy. I don't like veggies. My dear Sam, veggies are good for you. Veggies make you smart and strong. Every day I have to eat veggies. I don't like veggies. I want chocolate. Uh-oh, my little brother is angry. Yes, Sam is angry because he doesn't like his veggies. I don't like veggies. Goodness, goodness gracious! What happened to the toy? Anna at school broke the toy. Why? Teacher asked Anna to share. Anna didn't want to. Sounds like Anna was angry. She was furious. Angry people lose their temper. What does that mean? When you lose your temper, you might say or hurt things. Like toy robots. <laughs> yes, especially toy robots. Like Angry Anna. Why do we get angry, Grandpa? Many things may make kids angry, my Sam. You may get angry when something doesn't go your way. Oh, yeah. I got angry because I wanted chocolates for dinner, not veggies. You might get angry with your parents if you think their rules are unfair. Sometimes a friend might tease you or call you names that can make you angry. Worst of all is when you are blamed for something you didn't do. Mmm, yes, Grandpa. Sometimes when I get angry, I say or do hurtful things that I don't mean. Don't worry, my dear Sam. It's perfectly okay to be angry at times. In fact, it's important to get angry sometimes, as long as you don't lose your temper. And anger must be released in the right way. Urgh! It's still not working. I lost my temper. Tell me your tip to manage, Grandpa. Sarah, dear, let me show you how to control your anger. When I'm angry, I do the flamingo. And count to ten. The flamingo? Yes, I'll show you. One, two, three. Remember, when you do the flamingo, calm yourself and think of something pleasant. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm thinking about cartwheels in the park. I'm thinking about riding my bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
We have a pet flamingo instead of a pet parrot. You have lots of emotions. At different times, you may be happy, sad, or jealous. Anger is just another way we feel. Sam and Sarah, how can you tell if someone is angry? Mm, when people are angry, their fists clench. Their voice gets loud and they talk fast. Their face gets red and eyes narrow. Clever children. Remember, it is okay to be angry, but don't lose your temper. Reacting badly never solves anything. That's right. Instead, admit to yourself that you are angry and try to figure out why. Calm down and think, what can you do to keep the situation from happening again? You can do the flamingo. Wonderful! You got it! You may also reach out to an adult, such as a parent, teacher or relative. Once you talk about anger, those bad feelings usually start to go away. It's best to let off steam and think with a clear head. Can you show us another tip, Grandpa? Of course, Sarah. Blow bubbles. I like bubbles. Bubbles! Bubbles! <sighs> Bubble Buster will help you calm down. Buster! Buster! Bubble Buster! Next time you're a hothead, blow ten bubbles. It will help you to calm down, definitely. <laughs> it makes a whistle sound. My dear kids, you are doing great and learning anger management very well. I'd like to share with you an interesting story. Once upon a time, Alex the mouse lived with his grandmother. Every day, Alex would get angry over very small things. Once upon a time, Alex the mouse lived with his grandmother. Every day, Alex would get angry over very small things. Uh, Granny, my shirt broke. My dear mousy, it is a small matter. I will fix it. Calm down yourself. Much commotion for a cute mouse. Come here. 
I have a surprise, dear Mousie. Oh, goody, goody, Grammy. I love surprises. It's a great gift and a fun way to manage your anger. Whenever you lose your temper, write the reason on this paper and nail the paper to this angry board. Granny, I'm home. I have so many pieces of paper to nail. My goodness, child. You have been angry today. Let's nail these into the board one by one. I'm tired, Grammy. May I skip these last papers? Welcome home, Alex. How was school? Do you have many papers today? I almost got angry, but then I thought it was such a small thing. Now I'm able to control my anger. Today, I have no papers to nail. Wonderful, my mousie. From this day forward, when you almost lose your temper but catch yourself, remove one nail from the board, one by one. And remember to read the notes you wrote. Shirt broke. OMG, for that silly reason, I have annoyed you. Please forgive me, Grammy. My mousie. See, Grammy, I've removed all of the nails. Now I know how to control my anger. I'm glad that you have managed to control your anger, my dear little mousie. I'm so proud of you. But, but, did you notice the angry board? Does it look like the same board I gave you? Mm, no, Grammy. Before it didn't have so many holes. Very good. But you see, these holes are like scars. Scars? When you say or do something in anger, even after you say sorry many times, the wound will always remain. Like the holes on the board, even after you've removed the nails. Oh my God! I'm so sorry, Grammy. I spent so many days troubling you and annoying my friends. Now I know how important to react for anger. The scars stay there forever, Grandpa. Yes, my dear Sammy. Never getting angry is impossible. Instead, you can react in a positive way and control your temper. Don't let anger be the boss of you. Take charge of it. The flamingo. Bread and... and veggies. You can try the smart flamingo, dear brother. One, two, three, four, five. Sam, 
I have bubble busters for you. Veggies. OK, they're just veggies. I can control my temper. I'm able to control my anger. I learnt a lot from Grandpa. I do not want to make a scar on the angry board. Yum! I love veggies. Yay! Sam loves veggies. Sam loves veggies. Sarah loves veggies. I love veggies. My grand-grandkids, so smart. You're all smart kids. Just remember, when you feel angry emotions, take a break from the situation. I hope you all enjoyed the story and have learned an important soft skill. Anger management. Remember my tips to control your temper. The flamingo. One, two, three, four. The bubble busters. And the angry board.